close quarter kind of situations, we're going to be seeing a lot of lightning kicks because Kazuya, Kazuya is kind of a big body, you know? Yeah. And Zelda, she loves eating big bodies up. She loves just getting those lightning kick setups off and just dealing so much damage off those stocks. And one of the things about Zelda, she has very good frame data to kind of just bait and punish characters like we saw with the dash attack. And now Zelda is just setting up their game here at the ledge against Kazuya Weezer. Kind of forced to uh, you know, come back from Kazuya's not so great disadvantage state here as you know, Zelta's just locking it down here. Oh yeah, we're seeing a little bit of the Kazuya dash trying to get in there. Nice use of Naryu's love. Even the Zelda does Kazuya out in a very smart way. We're seeing the steps there with the Phantom, the side B, and the up tilt, right? Mm -hmm. Really just punishing every approach on this Kazuya, and 30 seconds in, your stock is already gone. What an yeah, amazing stock play by Salcha. Top Tapping in the virus at her right now. Definitely going crazy, but hold up. Weezer almost going crazy with the Electric Wing Gonfis. Trying to just get it off right now, but Salcha right back in. Oh, I love that dash. That dash using the invincibility to just get in on Salcha. It's what you got to do more, but again, this is going to be such a tough battle with the dash that can play. There we go. There we go. Salcha trying to set up this ledge there. Weezer immediately trying to make it back, looking to find that down feed special, that grab. So much damage. That was like 30 some percent taken from the Phantom in the side beam. Yeah, she did a lot of damage. Oh my god, we're seeing this Kazuya is very, very patiently trying to find him with the forward air, the nair, but Salcha not giving a single chance. Oh, finally the electric comes out. Yuri's love immediately sending you to the ledge. A perfect Ooh. angle for a ledge from Salcha. Oh, this could be huge for you. Have Zelda's ledge right now. Oh, yeah, and the oh. kick. Oh, I don't think it's going to do it just yet. Yeah, with Zelda's teleport, it goes pretty far, so Ooh. you're not just out yet for the count. And Seltra just hanging here, stalling with the Nairi's love, as Weezer's kind of just forced to just react right now. And oh, Seltra got the knight set up to just poke under stage with a okay. shield. And now, this is your turn. You got the rage in the back pocket right now. Let's see what he's going to do with it. The floor is yours, Weezer. It's your move. Make your move. Comes out with the forward air. Not going to do it just yet. 151%. Not able to hang on to that. Oh my gosh. Seltra now goes up three stocks to one. Weezer is looking for an answer right now. Yeah, those were the, Zelda. the famous twinkle toes from Zelda coming out into play. Dash attacks setting, hmm, I've seen this situation before. As Zelda just sets it up and repeats it, locks it down, rinse and repeat. This is what you gotta do, this is the character, and this is the game plan. And everyone is seeing it right here, right now, but hold up. Weezer showing signs of life right now in this game one. Oh, nice coming out that dash back there. Oh, the Electra is coming out, 37%. Not oh. too much for Kazuya. Now, Seltra comes immediately right back with the F-Smash. Look at the punish with, oh, getting a little too aggressive with the Phantom. This could be your fall here. Seltra's getting a little too aggressive, getting a little too overconfident. Oh my gosh, wow, the Phantom poking through the stage. I definitely see why Seltra would want to go to the stage like this, considering how much work this Phantom has done at the ledge. You can the spot see dodge. That. Oh, you, you might can be gone see here. the fear in Weezer right now. As oh. Seltra's just calling off these spot dodges and these get-ups. It is such a unfortunate to be... So, uh, yeah, such an unfortunate position to kind of just be up against the Knight, right? The Knight covers neutral get-up. It covers jump from the ledge. And Zelda's just like, here, I'm going to just chill on the ledge. If, if, you're, if you get up and you happen to shield, I'm just going to delete it with S-Mash. And bam, mm. free shield break setup right there. We're seeing Seltra... Literally punish Weezer at the perfect opportune time, mm -hmm. right? Like every time you get a little too over aggressive, you immediately come back in with the fall back with the F smash. We're seeing most of these F smashes landing, considering you know exactly what Kazuya wants, right? Yeah. It was to come land in with an aerial, come in with the electric, and just nope, punish that. You can't. You want to get over aggressive at the ledge? I'm not gonna let that happen, my guy. You gotta earn that stock, and you're not just gonna come in and press button into the ledge. I'm not gonna let you get away with that. Yeah, and the tough part for Weezer, right? With that side B, we are not the side B. The move that reflects, I forget the name off the top of my head, but because he has that reflector, that does a lot of damage and reflects the knight also. So you have to just think and call them out, but hold up. I've what? I've never okay. seen this before in all my right, all entire right. life. All right, wait a minute, wait a minute. What is he cooking right now? Bro's cooking something. All right, we're I definitely like Ryu for this matchup here. Ryu does a really good job of dealing with these zoner characters, the trap characters specifically. That shocking Natsu can put in a lot of work in this matchup. And now forcing Seltz to take a completely polar opposite approach. So is that last matchup you're considering like it's relatively easy for Seltz to oh just sit up with the Phantom and just punish when you get in. That is they're completely different ball game you got against Ryu right here. Where you, you have to reel with wow. that shocking Natsu now. Now that heavy kick would it just tanked through that fireball, which is going to be Ooh. doing a lot of Weezer a lot of justice right now. And that's a free punish with the up out of shield, not really hitting. And these lightning hicks, you got to call them out. 
But right now, Selch is still locking Weezer down here at the ledge. Unfortunate, trying to just use the focus cancels to get their way on in. They get that one touch, it's going to be over. But right now, Ooh, that first stock touch. is definitely over. Very good stuff. The Selch is still holding on to this lead. But now, Weezer, we're seeing both of those little bit of opportunities. Down tilt to sure you're not going to do it just yet. Setting up with these shotgun at that ledge. You have a, considering you have that shotgun it's like you have a lot more options considering at this mid range. Like, like Kazuya, you have that laser, that's a very punishable move. Shaku Nito, on the other hand, just comes out really quickly and that back air is going to come out. Now Weezer looking very <coughs> comfortable even with the taunt. Yeah, that back air looking so, so good. Very, very strong move. And then once Weezer gets in, once Ryu gets in rather, he does some pretty good setup, does a lot of damage as well. Just getting those quick affirms and kind of just pushing to the ledge. And now we kind of have just the FGC trapping in question. And one thing I want to mention from before, that Nair's love. That Nair's love has kind of just become a commitment right now. Once it reflexes, you're still kind of just trapped inside that hitbox. Yeah. Oh, nice to that Hadouk in there trying to find the back air. He's going to close up the stock. Down to in the show you can. Oh, no, the sour spot unfortunately coming out. Selcha has a second lease on life. Looking to actually take advantage here. But Weezer immediately fires back with that back air. And now Rick takes his first lead of the set. Yeah, and this is the thing that Zelda kind of struggles up. When you're just running up on Zelda like this, it is so hard for her to get her game started. And Weezer just using the focus attack, not letting Zelda play her game right now. She is just trying to set up at the ledge once again. Still just trying to set up in the center for these knights, the phantom plays as well. But Weezer is tanking through it all, and what a beautiful getup to continue his turn right here and right now. Oh my gosh, the setups are going absolutely insane. Nice use of that up, he had a shield to close up the stock. Sell shit down 49%, but we saw what he did at the beginning of this game. Definitely able to do it and bring this back. But Weezer with this pressure right now, Sell shit needs an answer. Playing definitely, letting him get away with a lot of these approaches, using the shotgun not to get that pressure on the shield. Just running with those down tilts. We're seeing Sell shit finally get a little bit fed up with this. Yeah, Selcha, you know, trying to play their game once again as Weezer, we can see, hanging around with these double jumps. If Selcha starts catching on to Weezer's kind of game plan, just baiting out these knights and these options as well, it kind of might be GG's. Oh, yeah, you gotta be careful too. If Selchin, you're like, if you enough down tilt on the shield, you might see an afford tilt come out. Immediately eviscerate that shield. Selchin's definitely gotta be careful. 92%. This is premium Ryu stock percentages. Trying to jump back in there, looking to get in. Finally, find a fair or something to close out the stock. Selchin doing such a good job of keeping Weezer out here. Oh, oh my oh. gosh, just running in the shield, that's so scary. Yeah, it's a very scary situation to kind of just haul up in oh, the shield next to Ryu because Ryu will have those setups. But Selcha kind of turning this game around right now. Oh, the the Nerys Nerys love that was huge! Oh, almost letting the down to rock in the shield, and he gets him once again! Ah. Selcha able to pull back this time around, put that the back, back here, here. Wow. forcing this game three. Okay, okay. Weezer back, back alive, back alive. Wow. That fly line is definitely stable. It is stable right now. After that dominant two stock, game one from Selcha, Weezer bringing that back and taking game two. I'm definitely rocking with the Ryu pick a lot more here. The Ryu pick yeah. makes a lot more sense to me. The, the Shaku, like, Kazuya has to rely on that dash and the laser. The laser's not really going to do much in approaching option, right? But he has to rely on those falling aerials to really get in against a character like Zelda. And Zelda can really just say, I'm going to Phantom, and I'm going to Nari's Love, and you can't do anything about this, right? Ryu, on the other hand, you've got Shotgun Nintendo. Zelda's got to deal with the projectile now. It's a lot scarier because, like, oh, well, you don't want to sit in shield because you're sitting in shield. Take a Shaku into a shield break, right? Yeah. Or if, you, or if you're playing too aggressive, you can just run in, down tilt, and you're gone. There's just so many factors in play at all times that it's a lot more of a convoluted matchup than fighting against Kazuya. So Selcha's definitely got to keep that in mind and definitely cannot play that one-sided Zelda game that we saw in the first game. And I see we're going to Hall of Bash in a very Smashville-esque stage. I see that Selcha kind of just doesn't want to play that zoning game. They want to keep those blast zones, that smaller stage attack, so they can get those really early kills off the side with the Phantom and the Lightning Kick as well. And Selcha, you know, setting up once again with the Knight, doing that damage right in the center. Weezer, you know, just staring him down right now. Staring it down, looking for those commitments so they can finally see that opening. But let's see how this game plan is going to switch up going further into the set. Nice old Mexican standoff here. Phantom mm -hmm. versus Shaku. With the Phantom winning out there, Reacher still makes his way back to the ledge. Nice punishing the landing there with the Nariu's love. Selcha doing a really good job of catching his landers from Weezer. Weezer is just getting a, a, too aggressive at the literal last frame. It's just like, I see the approach. The approaches are really good, but just like, you're getting too ready to pull the trigger. You gotta wait a little longer. You gotta wait for Selcha to, to throw out that panic option. Weezer isn't waiting for the panic option. He's just waiting for the, the opportune moment, and you're getting punished there, just like that. Oh, that's yeah, not going to do is yet. still uh, hanging on right now. Okay. Ooh, oh, my God. The ledge trump. 
the ledge trump into Phantom, that's a Zelda classic. You don't see that happen very often, but wow. Amazing stuff. Look, oh, wow. Okay, he's not going to take it just yet. Yeah, we are trying to just get a whole stock, a whole turn starter right now. All right, still trapping Seltra at the ledge right here. This is definitely doable to make this an even game right now. They just need to find that one clean back here that they've been finding pretty much the entire last set. But Seltra, these neutral bees have been pretty, pretty tricky. And oh my god, that is... Okay, oh, okay, all right, the extension. Over the Phantom into the back here. Very good stuff for Weezer. Now evening up the stock count. Self is definitely Ooh. playing a lot more of smart of a game here. We're seeing a lot more of these traps. Instead of just opting sitting on the ledge, we're seeing a little bit of aggressive Zelda play. And it's working out here considering that you've already taken 41%. And oh, you're, you're definitely keeping Weezer on his toes. You're really just trying to, you're keeping him guessing. Wow. That up B out of shield was definitely an interesting trick, but I think it was very good because it got him out of that situation. Didn't have to take too, too much damage, and now you have this position. You have the station control right now, and now you're just free to kind of just react to Weezer just coming back from disadvantage, coming down from the skies as Seltzer charges up for the F smash. Weezer just counterattacking right here, right now. Oh, yeah, we saw, like I was talking about earlier, that forward tilt looking to find the shield break, but Seltzer dropping it in perfect oh. time. But that back here going to catch you, jumping from ledge. Now Weezer has Seltzer on their final stock of the set. Seltra's definitely gonna wake up a little bit here. Like we saw him moving a little bit at the beginning of the stock. And as I say that too, immediately coming back down smash mm -hmm. into side B, we've got a last stock situation in this winning round too. Seltra heard you talking. Now at Encore here, we always see this always comes down to those game three sets. It's always such a fight for this last set scramble. But Weezer taking the turn right now, getting the up tilt. And as we know, oh up tilt gosh. can convert into Shoryu. As Seltra just threatened that space, like, please don't up tilt on me. I got that down there. Please respect this. Please, please hold on to this as I just go for the challenge with that dash attack. I'm loving the empty house on Weezer. Literally just playing the fear factor so well. Seltra's getting a little tired of it. We've seen finally the anti coming out with the up tilt. But Weezer literally waiting for that one singular mistake for Seltra to make. And Seltra is in absolutely no mood to make that mistake. Ooh. Oh, my God. That may be the mistake. Oh, that might be the mistake. That's definitely... Oh, the Narius love. Seltzer just trying to call Weezer out in that spot. The Uppie would oh have taken gosh. it right there and right now. But Seltzer just playing this safe once again. Setting up with the Knight. Looking and for these the approaches. Back air. Wow. wow. Weezer comes back in with the back air. We're both Looking shocked. like Cloud. Weezer takes the set with the reverse 2-0. Amazing stuff from this player. You know, stick...